Look at that view. That is cool, man. <laughs> that is really cool. I love it. Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn and the Discovery Update. I'm an old guy gaming, and I have been working my butt off uh, trying to gather resources to get going on the space station. And, man, this thing is expensive. Whew, is it ever. So I'm still in the process, but I thought I'd bring you back at this point, you know, and kind of just give you an update on where we are. Uh, what I ended up doing is going uh, up into space in the ship, and I made uh, a list, uh, and I put it in a spreadsheet of all the stuff that we would need to build every component of the space station, just, and you know, every one component. I don't know if we're going to need more than one or not, um, but my goodness, it's expensive. And so then I spent a whole bunch of time off camera going and gathering more resources. I've completely exhausted uh, Proteus of all copper uh, that I'm aware of anyways, and all in all tin, of course. Uh, silver is very low at this point. Um, carbon is also very low, but I don't I think I've completely exhausted the carbon yet. Uh, so anyway, uh, I have quite a few minerals as you can see in here. And so the way that I'm approaching the list of stuff is that I'm putting together all the raw ore first. Uh, and so I have all the raw ore that I need and it's already on the ship, so I don't accidentally consume it making something else. And now what I'm doing is I'm working on uh, the alloys that we need. So um, right now uh, we're going to work on dura, uh, dura lumen. Now again, I'm making, I'm trying to make everything that I need to make the entire uh, space station. But if it turns out that we can't, we don't have enough to make the entire thing, then we'll, you know, we'll just make it as much of it as we can then. You know, we need, we need to go to Asiel. We need to go there anyways, of course, but we need to go there because, you know, we could find um, more resources uh, there that we, you know, no longer have here on Proteus. Um, you know, worst case scenario, if we can't find what we need to finish the space station on Asiel and Lutari um, and we're out of it on Proteus, I'm just going to have to change the settings in the game to respawn the ores just so we can finish up the, the series here. But we'll see how things go. I'm trying to, trying to make it work without having t t to do that. So we'll see how it goes. Um, all right, so let's see. So Duralumin, uh, we need a total. This is for the entire space station now. We need a total of 39. And so I've got eight. So basically, we need to make uh, 30. 30 more uh, to get 39. Uh, okay, so let's just... Can I grab all of this and still walk? Uh, oh, yeah, I guess I can. All right. Since we're just going to stay in the base. So for Duralumin... Um, we said we needed 30 more, right? Okay, so can we make at least that many? Oh, yeah. Okay, so stop that. Uh, so need, now we just need to make 29 more. Okay, so that satisfies our uh, Duralumin uh, requirements. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go to the spaceship and put that in. So here again, I don't accidentally consume it while I'm making other things. As you can see, I decided to take this backstop off because it just wasn't really serving any uh, useful purpose uh, for the landing platform here. Uh, all right, so let's take the Duralumin in here. The, these are all the other raw components and alloys that I currently have put together. Oh, and, and uh, you know, other components. Uh, for the whole space station. So again, it, when it, when I have everything I need, I'm putting it in there and, and you know, just let it sit in there until we're ready to go. Okay, so that takes care of the Duralumin requirement. By the way, if you guys are interested, um, I can put this spreadsheet, uh, spreadsheet on the Google Drive with all the space station requirements so you don't have to go up into space and sit there for freaking 20 minutes trying to write down all the shit that you need. It's ridiculous that we have to do that. Um, anyway, okay, so Duralumin is done. Now we have dime alloys. So we need a total of nine dime alloys. And uh, I have none. None at all, huh? Yeah, none. Okay. So let's go here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Let's put those in our inventory and take them out to the spaceship. 
Um, the other thing too is I'm not um, at at present because this is so damned expensive. I'm not even thinking about furniture and components and appliances in the station. I just want to get the station itself built first, and then we'll kind of, you know, see where we're at after that to get the other stuff done. Okay, next we need electrum. So we need a total of 20 electrum. And so that's the next thing on the list here. All right, so we have a problem, ladies and gentlemen. We are completely... And 100% totally out of copper. Uh, we don't have any more copper that I'm aware of at all on Proteus. And uh, that didn't give us enough. Did I put it in here? Yeah, that didn't give us all we needed, uh, all the electrum that we needed. So we, we have managed to make a total of 15, but we need a total of 20. So that's going to mean we can't complete everything on the space station um and it's another you know the other problem with copper too is that it's a an ingredient for some of the other things that we need to make so yeah we're uh, uh we're not in good shape here so all right i i have two options let's talk about those options again the simplest thing to do would be for me to Change the settings so the ores respawn, just so we can get some more copper and tin and that sort of thing that we really need. Um, I'm actually not even going to put that in there yet because we don't have everything we need. So that's option one. Option two is we go to Aziel because we need to do that anyway and kind of explore the planet and see if there's like rich copper deposits on Aziel. I don't remember if there is or not. Uh, or I, more accurately, I don't remember. I'm going to put this in this chest uh, for the moment. I don't remember from the last stable release that I did, which was the last time I was on Aziel, if there was copper there. There might have been. I just can't remember. Um, And, you know, we'll kind of kill uh, two birds with one stone if we do that because, you know, we need to visit Aziel anyway. So I'm kind of leaning towards that. Um, Or option three is we gather up as much stuff as we can and we get started building the space station, but we won't be able to complete it. Um, so, you know, that's kind of option three. So I, I guess I just need to decide which of those three options is going to be the way to go. So let me think about that, and I will uh, bring you guys back uh, when I have decided, and then we'll do whatever it is that I decided. Okay, so I'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, I think uh, I have decided what we're going to do. So we're going to go up, and we're going to get started on the space station, uh, build the habitat first and whatever else we can. I'm also going to bring enough materials to build a depository up there so we can put our ingredients that we have left over up there so they're already there. And then depending upon on how our time goes, uh, we're going to go ahead and jump over to Aziel and start exploring that, but we won't get that finished uh, at the end of this episode. And then, you know, maybe we'll find the resources we need on Aziel and we won't have to, you know, have the ores respawn. Uh, the reason I, w I wouldn't do that is I just wanted to see, you know, can you play the game and can you do everything you need to do in the game without respawning ores? And I don't know the answer to that yet. It depends upon what we can find on Aziel. And, you know, Lutari also has has minerals too, so we could go back there again and look around some more if we needed to. So let, let's basically try and exhaust every other potential avenue of ga getting the resources we need before we change the settings so that they respawn. Okay, so um, before we head out, I want to make the gold lens cover to help with cold. One of you guys told me in the comments that the gold cover along with this solar panel backpack upgrade is the is, is really good. I don't know if you said it was the best, but it's really good for, uh, you know, for warmth. The problem is I don't have the resources to make the solar panel uh, upgrade. So we're going to just stick with our current uh, suit heater for now, uh, which is going to give us um, I think it gives us like 30 uh, protection from the cold. So let's let's actually look at that really quick. So if we put this on, um, this is supposed to. Well, how come the hell it doesn't freaking tell us what what it does here? <laughs> it's, uh, so where did we make that? Did we make that in here or the other place? I can't remember. Let's look. Storage suit heater. Yeah. Okay. So this is going to give us plus 30 cold resistance. And the gold cover is going to give us another 15 on top of that. So we're still going to have the same cold resistance that we would 
if we use the solar panel. It's just that we won't have the heat protection. So we are going to have to be careful when we go near lava. Okay, so in order to make the gold cover, uh, we need two adhesives. In order to make the adhesives, we need five tree sap and some chlorine. So I have some tree sap. I don't know if I have five or not. So let's grab some chlorine. And let's uh, five tree sap. Oh, did I not grab the tree sap? I thought I did. Here it is. Okay. Okay, so, so one jar of tree sap is, a, is 60 units. Uh, I wasn't sure how many units, so we're good to go. All right, now let's make the gold lens cover, except for I need gold. So let's grab just one piece of gold. There we go. And uh, this is going to replace our light unit. Uh, so we won't have quite as much range or, I think, recharge for the flashlight. But that's okay. We can we can live with that. The game recharges your flashlight every time you log out anyway. I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but that's the way it works right now. Okay, now, if we go here and put this on... Oh, it doesn't actually change our thing to gold. I thought it would. What if we go into first person? I can't really see my face very well, though. So, yeah, it doesn't look like it changed that. Uh, or a third person is what I meant. You guys know what I meant. Okay, so I think we're ready to go. Um, is, uh, or rather are, all of our weapons and tools in good repair? Looks like that is... Yeah, I think we're in, I think we're in pretty good shape repair-wise. Uh, we have plenty of, of food to take up there with us, so we're good to go on that. And, uh, yeah, I think we're ready to go, so... I should have everything else already on the spaceship that we need. So here we go, guys. We're going to go make ourselves a space station habitat to start with. And then we'll just see how far we can get. And uh, then have, head over to Aziel. Now, I don't know if we go directly above our base into space. If we stay in this area and go back down to the planet will be near our base again. I'm not really sure how that part works. Uh, but let's uh, let's get closer to the asteroids because I did notice that a lot of the space base equipment requires azurnium. I don't know how big this place is going to be, though, so I don't want to get too terribly close, but it would be nice to be close enough to where if we had to, we could hop over there spacewalk via spacewalk rather than having to fly so maybe right about here ish we'll say okay very good let's go ahead and hop out of the ship look at that view that is cool man <laughs> that is really cool i love it okay and so we'll just get away from the spaceship a little bit maybe over to about here Let's go into F2. Oh, actually, hold on. I need to get the stuff out of the spaceship. So let's just grab all of it. I don't know if weight matters when you're spacewalking or not. You wouldn't think that it would, but who knows? Let's go ahead and build. So we're going to go into F2. We're going to go to spacecraft, and we're going to select the habitat module. Look at that. Starvation warning. Okay, let's get a little bit further back over this way. So we can rotate it. Just kind of looking around us to make sure there's nothing else that could potentially be in the way. I guess, oh yeah, you know what? It looks like it kind of lines it up with the the planet, regardless of the position that I'm in. Wait, what is that doing? Oh, that's just raising it up and down. Okay. All right, let's let's do it. Look at that, you guys. Our very first section of our space base. Let's go on inside and check this place out. Oh, this is cool looking. 
Very cool looking. Okay. So, um, let's get into first person. Do we need, we probably need to like build walls like we do on the, on the ground one. So is this a, that's just a porthole. Okay. Have it. Dismantle repair. No, I don't want to dismantle it. Food supply soon. So probably what we have to do is we have to attach other things to these portholes, or no, not really portholes, in order to seal this thing. The first thing I want to do, though, is can I, can I make the... Uh, whatchamacallit, the depository. So let's try that. So F2 Space Utilities Depository. Oh my goodness, I forgot to bring gunmetal. Son of a gun. Well, we could make lockers. I don't know. Okay, that gives us 20 slots. That gives 40. This is way cheaper to make, though. Um, okay, does, does this require, okay, so this is the habitat module. Is there a specific spot it's supposed to go in? This is really cool. Um, hmm. Can we put it up here? Or is it not letting me do it because I don't have I don't have it complete yet? I'll bet you that's what it is. If we try to build it, what's it tell us? Requires a connecting object. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go back to here then. So we've got power module which I don't have all the stuff for. Hallway module, hub module. A module can connect and intersect multiple hallways. Window module. A hallway module to connect two modules that includes windows, an observation module. An end cap module that provides an observation area. Auxiliary. Allows bulk storage of either gas or liquid, commonly used to store oxygen, water, or fuel. Interesting, okay. Wonder why Oh, never mind. Okay. So this one is it says it's an end cap. Which means we probably would want to put it maybe like on the front or the very rear of the ship, I'm guessing. Skylight module. Is there a, a skylight option? Okay, we probably don't put that there. So what we need to do is we need to figure out, uh, is, you know, what, what would we call like the front of the ship? Is there anything that would indicate that there's a front or does it just, is it just what we decide is the front? Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess what we would do next is put a hallway. I'm assuming that we can take these apart and get all of our stuff back in case I put something in the wrong place. Um, we can't do the power module because we don't have zirconium plates or zircaloy. So I was missing something that we needed for that. I wonder, you know what though, I wonder if we could actually make that. Maybe I just forgot to do it down below. Hallway module. Okay, so if we put a hub module here. Then we can connect hallways to this.
just trying to look and see what all we need for ingredients on that. Window module, hallway module. If we put a hallway module in here, I'm just trying to see if we can get this place sealed off. I might need to go look at the intro video again to see how that, that ship was designed. Not, I don't know that we have to design it exactly the same way as that one, but since I'm new to all of this, you know, I have, this is the first time, if it, it wasn't already obvious to you guys, the first time I've tried to make a space station in this game. I'm not sure if we have to build it a certain way or if we can put it together any damn way we want to, you know? Um, all right, let's put this hallway module in here. I'm not necessarily going to keep these here. What I want to do is I want to see if that in the placing of the hallway modules, it'll seal the habitat. No, it doesn't. Okay. So we probably have to completely enclose the place, which would make sense, of course, before we can actually pressurize it. It's interesting, too, that it doesn't require, you know, like an oxygen oxygenator like we have to have down on the planet there. We have a cryopod, a cryopod printer. See, this, this says... I don't get this, because it, 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 we have the requirement. But it won't... It doesn't want to let me build it. So I don't know if it's supposed to be in a specific area... Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, okay, interesting. So, can it attach to any part of the wall? So it doesn't want to attach to this part of the wall, but it looks like we can attach it down below here. Interesting. Okay. So only on the bottom? We can't put, like, stack them up high? So it looks like we put lockers just on the sides in these two spots. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and set up a locker. And what I want to do now... Okay, what do we have left? Um... So we've already done two hallway modules. I'd like to do this power module. Because all of these require the power module. So... Uh, why don't we... Here, let's, let's go back down to the planet. I might be able to make that. I, I might have just... Space it off and forgot to do it. So let's run down there really quick and see if we can figure that out. I'm. Does this thing show up on the radar? How are we going to know how to get back here? <laughs> don't know, man. I don't know how any of this works. Um. Okay, well, here. Yeah, let's go back down to the planet and uh, see if we can make the power module. I mean, wait a minute. Hold on. Well, make the Zircaloy stuff that we need for the power module. Let's look at that one last time before we leave space. So, we have everything we need. We just need two batteries, two Zircaloys, and five plates. Okay. All right. So, we needed to make some Zircal Zircaloy and Zirconium plates. Okay. So, we need two Zircaloys. Right? Yeah. And then we need five zirconium plates. Five zirconium plates. And I think we had everything. Oh, no, we need two batteries, too. That's right, two batteries. There we go, two batteries. Okay. Now, let's head back up into space and make the power module, and then we'll... See where we are from there. All 
Okay, so we're in space, and there's our station right there. Okay. So I guess it's just, it appears to me like if we go straight up into the sky from our base down below and then straight back down afterwards, we're in the general vicinity. It would appear that way anyways. Okay, so let's just park the ship right here. Get down to zero kilometers. Okay. Now, I'm going to put the power module back here. So I'm hoping we got all of our stuff back for, for that. Spacecraft power module. Hmm. I kind of assume this would be like an engine, but it's still like a hollow tube that we can go through. Got like some electrical panels and stuff. Interesting. All right. Well, let's see. So that, that unlocks some more of these. So I've got, everything to make this but why is it showing red text communications module auxiliary solar array so i'm assuming we need that to generate the actual power right biosphere module let's okay where would we attach this does it have to be attached to the power module? Oh, okay. Can we do two of these? I don't know how many of these we actually need. Okay. Now, uh, let's see what else we got here. This is this thing is so expensive, you guys. <laughs> it's like so damned expensive to make. A skylight module. Where would we put like the airlock module? I guess. So, so it has to st stick out from the side. Interesting. Okay, so I guess we would put it here, right? That's where we're putting it. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what this thing's gonna look like when we're when it's all said and done. Is this where we go in at, or where do we go in at? Oh, look at that. Okay, that's cool. Um, That doesn't seem to open. Do we have to close this first? Begin pressurizing. Wait, what? That started to close. What? Oh, okay, so it opened back up there. Unable to pressurize. It was probably because... Oh, so okay, so that does open and close the doors, but it can't pressurize probably because we don't have the ship sealed yet. How did the doors open? Oh, they just open when you go near them. Oh, okay. I see. All right, well, that's the way out. <laughs> All right, what else can we do? We could do a skylight module. See that the thing is, guys, I don't I don't know 
what the priority is here. I, I'm only just kind of guessing, right? I mean, I figured we need a power module. Um, I guess we need an auxiliary module, but we need a hose for that, which, doggone it, I could have made those down below too. We could do a skylight module. That doesn't seem super essential at the moment, though. Um, all right, let's go back this way. I'm just going to put that there for now, but, you know, keeping in mind that I can dismantle it and get those parts back later. All right. So what would we put on the end of this hallway then? The nav module or the communications module? We already have a power module. So the airlock module needs, or we already did the airlock. We need, uh, we need 10 circuit boards to make this thing. Oh my goodness, that's expensive. Four circuit boards to make that. All right, well, let's try something here. Can, if I can, here, let's try something. I'm going to go escape. Let's take all this stuff back apart for, for a moment. Well, let's dismantle that. Dismantle this. The problem with that little hub thing is it makes a bunch of holes, right? Dismantle that. And Okay, so now let's go in here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cap these off for a minute and see if we can pressurize the habitat. And then I guess this one here too, right? Okay, so in theory, we should be completely sealed up now. That is a really cool little observation thing. And we have power and we have solar panels. So can we pressurize now? Still says unable to pressurize. Okay, let's look again what what am i miss what am i missing i wouldn't think these three things would be essential to pressurize oh i bet you we need this for air yeah duh <laughs> we need a tank for air that's probably what it is okay let's i'm going to go back down to the planet and and get some hose and come back up here so i'll see you guys in a minute can't believe i forgot about a tank to hold air. I mean, it's the most obvious damn thing in the world, isn't it? Where's my spaceship? There it is. All right, guys, we are back at the space station. I noticed that um, when you're down on the planet, you actually see where this is on the compass. It's called Habitat Module instead of just Habitat, which is what the, uh, you know, the ground-based one is called. So that way you can kind of at least get a general idea of where to come up uh, to get it. So, all right. Let's go ahead and turn around here. And I so I, I made a hose to make the tank, and I also brought some O2 with me. And uh, let's see. Let's get a little closer here. See what happens here. Okay, so we're at zero kilometers. Turn our light on. All right, why isn't that opening now? It opened before. Begin pressurizing. Unable to pressurize. That's what I expected. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go... Uh, I guess we're going to go back here. Let's dismantle the skylight. 
And then what we're going to do is build the auxiliary, which is this guy. Okay, now can we fill this with O2? Or actually, before we do that, let's let's cap this off again. Spacecraft. Uh, the ring module, a ring-shaped module for the space station. Engine module. Yeah, we just we just don't have enough stuff to make all this right now. So yeah, let's just cap this off for the moment so the ship is actually sealed. See that I guess this is I mean it's a space station slash ship, I guess. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Not really sure, man. Okay. And then we'll go back in here. See now the door opens. That's that's odd. Okay. So let's close the doors. Uh oh, we have to put uh O2 in the tanks, right? Okay, so let's go. Back this way. Tell it to begin pressurizing. It looks like it's pressurizing. I, I saw it like air come through. Okay. Now let's go this way. And can we add... Yeah, we can add contents here. Okay, so now what we want to do is put our O2 on our toolbar here. So is this whole entire module only going to hold O2 and I have to do separate modules for like water and stuff? I'm guessing that's probably the case. Okay, so we now have uh we now have oxygen and we have power the power module and we have everything sealed. So can we, now can we pressurize? Unable to pressurize. Hmm. Is it because we don't have the engine? Or maybe what we have to do is, let's go look at this again. Maybe we have to have another auxiliary module and an engine with, I'm guessing, hydrazine. Well, you wouldn't use hydrazine in a few fusion engine though. Hmm. Yeah, I I don't know. I guess I'm I'm a little confused as to what what the deal is here. Um So, all right. Well, guys, we are Okay, wait a minute. We got a thing here, fuel type, oxygen. So it So it thinks oxygen is a fuel Extract oxygen from station. Is there, is there like a way to turn the power on? Because we have solar panels and we have a power module. You'd think we would be able to do power now. But I'm not seeing like the on switch <laughs> for that. I mean, we have, we do have lights. They're super dim though. I don't know. I, I, I don't know that I would call those actual lights. They might just be. Part of the deco. Huh. All right. Well, I, I guess I'm not quite sure what else to do at this point. I mean, obviously we have more to build, but I don't have the resources for it. So if you guys have built space station and you know, you know, what should happen next, you know, definitely let, let us know in the comments. Um, does this do anything? Yeah. Let us know in the comments uh, and so we can, uh, proceed from here because I'm not sure what else to do. It could, and may, you know, maybe it's just a situation where it doesn't become fully functional until you attach all the parts. And if that's the case, that's fine. I just need to know that because I kind of assumed that, you know, we've got everything we need to at least pressurize the habitat now, but it's not, you know, pressurized because I'm still, my O2 is still going down. Um, so yeah. 
All right. Well, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here, guys. The uh, and, and so what I'll probably what I'm probably going to do is we're probably going to go to Aziel ne- uh, in the next episode. Uh, we need to go there anyway, like I've said, and you know we might find some of the resources that we need. I'm completely and 100 percent out of copper, and I need I still need it to make more stuff that we need for here. So what we're going to have to do is. Um, either f- try and find that on Asiel, um, or I'm going to have to just set the ores to, to respawn because I'm not sure what else to do. So anyway, let me know uh, what the next step should be here for the space station. Uh, leave a comment for uh, for me, well, for all of us who are learning here, because like I said, this is the first time I've tried to do a space station myself. I haven't never, I never got this far in uh, experimental and they didn't, and this wasn't an option um, in the last stable release that we, I, we played or at least i don't think it was if it was i didn't do it so put it that way <laughs> and uh, we'll go from there okay so guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video and we'll catch you in the next one Bye bye